No, we're going to release the Kraken or the mm. Kraken or whatever the fuck. We're going to release a mythical sea beast. Oh, cool. That's cool. I wish it was an actual, like, Kraken. That would be cool. Yeah. Cool. Which is just a sea monster. That, an awesome sea monster. When I said, that's why I have a big boat. Well, Mike, I want to point. I don't know if you saw this, but um, did you see that history was made this weekend? See, because like when you used to say history was made, I yeah. you know if this show was twenty years old, I'd say Royce. Let me guess, we landed a rover on Mars. We built a base on the moon, right? Hey. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt was the first Power Five uh, football team to uh, to have a female player play. Cool. She was a kicker. Her name was... Of course she was a kicker, Royce. What the fuck else she, would she have been? The fucking quarterback? The running back? Oh, yeah. Let's get, <laughs> Linebacker. Let's get Lindsay out there to do defensive <laughs> tackle. Of course she's a kicker. Well, not only was she the first player to be... <sighs> I'd feel like such shit if I was a kicker. Like It's Vanderbilt. She's a kicker for Vanderbilt. Not only was she a kicker, we're going to show the kick here, by the way. We are going to show it. Um, but not only that, but Sarah Fuller was named the SEC Special Teams Player of the Week, Mike. Let me of guess. Of the week. Let me guess. Of the week. Let me guess. Let me guess. Yes. 63-yard field goal to win a game, right? <laughs> you, like, think, so, you think she kicked a field goal? Wait, she did She did one she kickoff. Didn't, she didn't even wait a minute. I was one kickoff. I was waiting. For, I was waiting for Royce. <laughs> I was waiting for Royce to say something like twenty yards, fifteen yards, twenty yards. No, she didn't even get a field goal. No, she had one kickoff after halftime. She kicked the ball off. So let me just to because you yeah, know, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a big football expert, but yeah. um, let's say I'm in special teams on another team in the SEC, and I caught. Uh, a kickoff and I ran it back for three yards. I would have already been a better special teams player, right? Well, if you had a vagina, you would have fucking won the SCC special team player of the week. Like, don't you like, mind you, the SCC is huge power. I mean, we're talking about some really good teams are in there. Uh, Vanderbilt, by the way, Vanderbilt, Van, the team she was on Vanderbilt lost 41 to zero. Does everybody like, does everybody just want to be treated like condescendingly? Like, is this where we're headed? Well, Mike, I would she, feel, think uh, about this. If she was named the SEC Special Teams Player of the Week, at least the kickoff she had must have been fucking glorious, right? It must have been beautiful. So you would, for for SET, SEC Special Teams of the Week, that ball better land in Iran and explode. Well, you want to watch, watch it? <laughs> sure, I guess. Okay. And there she is, wearing number 32, her, her soccer on the jersey ass? number, at just six days. I don't know, but it's used the same showers. Ago was winning an SEC soccer tournament championship in Orange Beach, Alabama. And wouldn't you know it, history <laughs> is on the field in Columbia, Missouri, as Sarah Fuller is about to put her right foot into a football, speaking volumes yes, we know what to being women a kicker is. around the world. They built her up. Get ready. Yeah, it's got to be good. Get That's ready. Awesome. Here it comes, baby. Player of the week. Player of the week, baby. Here we go. Here it comes. History about to be made. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that looked like that looked like you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what that looked like? It looks like you know what you know what I got. <laughs> It went uh, what, forty yards, maybe. You know, and it wobbled. You know, all right. You know, like when the local high school to get some good press, they let like, you know, some kid with Down syndrome like do one play real quick so they can get in the local news. That's what it, it, it's like. They let one of the Down syndrome students do the kickoff. Well, there's something else I want to show you. We're gonna play it again, but I want to, <laughs> I, I, I need <laughs> you to watch it through the end of the play because something else happens. Watch this. History <laughs> is on the field in Columbia, Missouri. As Somebody says, wait, was it an onside kick? If it was an onside kick, it was also a terrible onside kick. No matter what way people, because they've been trying, people have been coping with this kick. It, yeah. If it was an onside kick, you only kick it 10 yards. And right in front of you, so someone could kick 
Awesome, awesome moment. You can hit a crowd. Everybody understands what's happening right now. Women see. just look silly in football gear. Yeah, like, it just looks know. silly. Or in positions of power. <laughs> Pretty cool. This moment. looks so silly. So she doesn't have to wear a cup at least. <laughs> so uh, she kicks. Kick down at the 30. She didn't even. She ran right off the field after the kick. She didn't even run down. Like every kicker runs down. They for, make a tackle. and Because well, they don't by. want her. She ran. She runs right off the field. So she ran right off the field. So she wants to be a football player, but she doesn't want to be a football player. So basically every other thing that women want to do in life, right? They want equality, but they don't really want equality. They just want the job, and then you're going to do all the work. This they is... want equality, but not like when it involves heavy lifting. But, like, but then look at like, then this is just layers of logistics that are unnecessary yeah. for this team. Says, play like a girl. But girls don't play well. You just illustrated that. Play poorly. Why Why are... No, look, man. Why are we doing this? Culturally, why are we doing this? Why are we lying to ourselves? I, I, it, it boggles my mind. Like, I'm getting genuinely upset. Like, I know the kick <laughs> is funny, and I know it's funny to just laugh at girls because, you know, they're all terrible. But, I mean, this is... We're, this isn't good. This isn't a healthy way to be, right? Like, we're just denying reality. Can I ask you a question? So you're saying that wasn't the SEC uh, special teams play of the, player of the week? Royce, literally any other special teams play in the SEC this weekend had to be better than that. Any, literally anyone. So you're saying it wasn't that. Sight unseen, I'd pick another one. Why are we doing, like, why play like a girl? And then you just do it terrible. Like, why are we doing this? Ladies. You're giving up your sports, and then you're trying to move into men's sports, and you're so short-sighted that you don't realize that you're just going to get fucking dominated at everything. We gave you your own separate leagues so you could pretend to excel at something. That's WNBA, the, the W, uh, what's the golf one? All that WPGA. shit. WPGA. We gave you all of that. La la laundry football league. So you could live feeling like you're good at something despite not being good at something. Hey, remember remember the woman's, uh, female, the female soccer team that lost a bunch of 15-year-old boys? Because that happened. Did that really happen? I don't yeah, the, U that. the USA, uh, the USA Olympic team uh, lost to... Of fifteen-year-old boys in an exhibition game. I believe that, and it's because look, you, we we gave you we like, hey, go here. We'll have a whole girls' league. We'll even pay you guys like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year for the top players. Like we were really generous, a and then you you did this weird thing where you linked up with the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. You let trans people move into girls' sports. You're losing at that now. So now you're going to push your way into male sports and you're going to half-ass kick a ball and then run off the field? Yeah, because people are being told that this is real. Like, people, are, pe people have to look at the SEC Player of the Week and you just have to accept it. And, and some people are like, you know what? I'd rather shoot fentanyl into my dick vein. Um, <laughs> I, I, it's, G, G Police is right. It's beyond parody. It's... I, I f this is, it's not a good way to be when some of the people that I know that I consider to be normal, good, godly folk, people are being gaslit into thinking they're crazy, but you're not. I'm telling you, if you think this is a joke, then you're not crazy. They're crazy. They're crazy. You're not crazy. Don't let them make you think you're crazy because you're not. Uh, just to so you know that uh, there's a football player named Kadarius Tony that ran back a it was like a 70 yard punt return. I know his name's Kadarius. I was gonna guess at least 70 yards. And um, <laughs> does he have an apostrophe in his name? He had to share the SEC Special Teams Player of the Week <laughs> with, with that kick you saw. Are you kidding me? I'm looking it up now. Uh, Kadarius Tony had a punt return for Florida, and he has to share it with uh, that squib kick. Yes. So I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. So due to the extremely baffling and downright satirical beliefs of the far left, a, a young black man mm -hmm. now has to share his accomplishments mm -hmm. with a white woman. Yes. I swear to God. See? Ladies, 
do you understand why I hate you? Like, do you at least? I'm not saying you got to agree with me. Okay, you can say Mersh hates when it's fine, whatever. But can you at least see where I'm coming from? Could you just maybe see it my way a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> Kadarius Tony not only not only return he's, he's he's the first player uh, to return a 50 yard touchdown to return a punt for 50 yards and then also get oh, a touchdown fuck. in the game. <laughs> and he shared it with the worst kick I've ever seen. I it, it's it's. Fucking, it's comical, man. I, I just, it's like, do you just, do you understand why some of us might hate you guts? Well, hold on. You got chills, man. There's that a was, replay. Let's just watch the replay real quick. That was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome to see. And... By the way, Kadarius Smith or whatever the fuck his name is, uh -huh. this is it for him. This is all he's got. In Gainesville, but yes. Gainesville, I'm sorry. No, Gainesville, but you know what I mean? This yeah. is all he's got, man. Let Kadarius with an apostrophe in his name have the one thing. Let his family have one thing they can hang on the refrigerator that isn't riddled with misspellings, what okay? About, what about Sarah Fuller, though? It's <laughs> just, oh, I can't take it. I got chills, man. That was... I got chills, man. He had chills, man. That was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty see. cool. That's what you say. That's what you say. Like, if I pulled out a skateboard right now, and I went, yo, check this out, and I tried to do an ollie and tripped, Royce would go, wow, man, yeah, that's real cool. Like, that's what you say. Somebody, point it's out, somebody pointed out, at least Rudy got a tackle. It's... At least Rudy tackled somebody. <clears throat> Oh fuck! Uh, I, I, yeah, any and any fucking drop that ring into the lava and save the world. So I mean, Rudy's cool. So um, that's a, that was it. He was, was an actor. It's an actor. Oh, see, so it wasn't the same guy, Middle Earth. So he he didn't. So then he did the. So then Rudy's fake story. That guy didn't really do the football thing. No, 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 no. The real so guy. Actor. No, the real guy. There was really a guy named Rudy that really did that. In so real there was life. really a guy that dropped the ring in no, the lava, see, that's too, then. fictional. Like a woman playing football well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I wanna wake up from this nightmare. I just want to wake up from this nightmare. Nope. Ain't going to happen, my friend. Ain't going to happen.